The great thing about the festival is I think a lot of people don't even know you get to hear you. Yeah. Uh, when you have to choose between your private life and the rifles, is that, is that a difficult choice between them or is it just... It's hard, you know. Yeah. It is hard, but it's what we do, isn't it? It's really hard sometimes being away from home. That's the hardest thing. But like I say, if it's worthwhile doing, then you've got to go and do it, innit? It's easy to sit at home and not do anything. But uh, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy being in a band and, do you know what I mean? But separating the two things is pretty tough, but it's what we do, so we've got to just crack on and do it. Yeah, yeah. Is it, uh, what, what, what's, uh, what kind of balance is it? A private life, band life? Is that, is it much more? When we're not on tour, we pretty much just all go off and see our friends, do you know what I mean? And we probably don't speak to each other for well, we speak on the phone and that, but we don't see each other because we're in each other's pockets most of the time. Yeah. So yeah, I think we just as soon as we get home we go and see our do you know what I mean, our family and our friends. Yeah. And, and when you're not at home, is it do you sometimes think maybe uh, ah, damn I wish I was more at home? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone does. Okay. But if you don't, you've got to sat wrong at home. You know what I mean? It should be the best place really in the world, shouldn't it? I think, your home. Yeah. Um, five years ago, before you started uh, the Rifles, uh, uh, they, they say uh, you and uh, you, you went to a concert at Oasis and then you realized, yes, I want to start a Me band. and Luke, yeah, we, this was before yeah. we knew each other, we didn't know each other at the time, but we probably met about two months after. And yeah, we... Uh, after meeting, we got talking and we was both at that concert and it was just, I think it wasn't so much the gig as the uh, the whole, every, like even my friends that weren't really into music, when Oasis come on the scene, you go down a pub and it'd just be like Oasis for, for about five hours on a jukebox, you know what I mean? Everyone liked Oasis, it was the whole thing I think, everyone was it, like on it, do you know what I mean? And I think that just sort of like... It was uh, the whole vibe around it. Yeah, everything, you know? everyone started dressing different, you know what I mean? Yeah. Did, did you see Oasis a lot after you started the rifles? Or? Yeah, I've seen Oasis quite a few times, yeah. Okay, okay yeah. Um, and one of your shows, uh, Paul Weller joined you at the stage. Yeah. What would it be like for you when uh, Noel or Lime Gallagher would join you at the stage? Brilliant. They're all, do you know what I mean? I'm, like, yeah, I mean, Oasis were the biggest sort of impact, I think, in what I've witnessed, do you know what I mean? Obviously, you've got other bands that come before that I didn't. I wasn't around really to sort of like witness or get the feel that was happening. And Oasis are definitely that band. They're, they're our Beatles, if you like, for me. Yeah. Just because of the whole, you know, you got Beatle mania. This thing happened really. Definitely in in uh, the UK, definitely. Yeah. And uh, so we can say Oasis was a kind of starting point for the rifles, but what was for you the starting point? Can you remember when you first picked up a guitar and wrote your, uh, your first song? Yeah, I mean, the first time I wanted to play a guitar, I was a kid at school, he was a year younger than me, unbelievable guitarist, still is, he can play like Jimi Hendrix, exactly. What age was that? What age was that? Yeah. About 14. Yeah. And then when you see him, you... It was I like, haven't yeah. seen him for ages, but when I see him play, I thought oh, my birthday was coming up, I asked for a guitar, so I started learning from then. Okay, and can you remember when you uh, you started with guitar or started with, uh, with the vocals? Guitar, always, guitar. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. But uh, when, when was the first time I don't you? Know, you really? You, Probably you, around Oasis, that sort of time. Then that's what that's the yeah. time you started singing as well. Yeah, their songs are pretty, pretty simple to play. You know what I mean? And sing along to. So I think yeah, that was probably around that sort of time we started trying to put words over the top of the playing the guitar. Was that a logical step for you? Uh, to, to, or an easy step to to, to, to show? Yeah, that I you didn't find it too. Well? I didn't find it too difficult, really. Yeah. Released a couple of months ago, uh, but I heard that uh, after this tour, you're wanting to work on some new material as well. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, we've got to okay. we've got to just find that whatever time we have to go and write, we've got to go and do that. Okay, and do you already know uh, with, with, with who you want to produce it? Or? Nah, no, no, I haven't got a clue. Until the songs are done, we don't know how it's going to turn out. So, okay. and um, uh, we're going to just get it all done, I think, and then and then sort of decide what, who to do it with. Because the second uh, second uh, album was a, a bit more darker than the first one. Um, uh, in what direction would you like to go uh, with the first? I don't know. Maybe a bit more uplifting. More uplifting. Yeah. So it's uh, like a, a wave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Not darker. Not darker. No. Okay. Thanks for your time and uh, good luck with the show. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Take care, man.